All right, so I feel like I've made this video a bunch of different times, but this new recording template I just made, I, I have to go over it. I think I hit way too much tonight, way too much tonight. Just I think I'm my head around, oh yeah. So in one of my recent videos, I dropped a free recording template for you guys. And basically this new template is a build off that free one, but a much bigger and better version of it. I took some time to learn how some of the biggest engineers in the industry actually create their recording templates and base mine off those. So this one, for example, is kind of based off Young Thug's engineer's template. And I'm telling you, this is now my favorite way to record. It makes adding presets and everything so much easier. And it just, it makes mixing, mastering, recording, everything as easy as it should be. So I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible and just go over the main features of the template. But if you do have any questions or you can't figure out how to use it, hit me up on Instagram, give me a follow there, and I'll show you guys everything. But enough talking, let me show you guys how this template actually works. Okay, so here's the template right here, and you're gonna notice right off the bat, it's probably similar to some of my default mixing templates, but there's a big difference here, and the main part is in the actual mixing channel right here. A lot of the routing is much, much different before. One of the most common questions I get about my other templates is some of you guys won't have a computer that's powerful enough to run plugins on every single channel. So the big difference here is there's gonna be one main vocal chain, and all these other channels are just going to get routed into there. I'm going to go over exactly how this works. It makes recording and mixing your songs so much easier and quicker to understand where everything's going. So it pretty much goes from left to right here. So you got your master, your mix bus, your vocal chain. And then I have two beat channels just docked over here just for you to mess around with the beat if you have to, the main beat, and then you could throw some like different effects on here if you want to cut the beat up and have it switch a bit. Then you got your record track, your lead A, B, C, your ad libs A, B, and C. You can do whatever you want with any of these channels if you want to switch them up, make some of these different, but I just gave them a quick name. And then you got a verb throw A and a verb throw B. We'll go over what that does later. And then docked over here to the right, we have all of our send tracks. So we have our verb A send or verb B send. This is just for reverbs. And then we have a few different delays you can use. A half note, quarter note, an eighth note, and a slap delay. So let's start with the master channel. If you don't know what a master channel is, this is where everything in your song gets routed to at some point in the end. If it's not routed to the master channel, odds are you're not hearing it. Then you have your mix bus. This is pretty much like a pre-master channel. It's like the same exact thing as your master, but it just gives you a few different options if you wanted to add some pre-processing effects on this channel before your master you could do that here but as you can see the vocal chain gets routed here and the beat gets routed here and then as well as the verb throws and all the send tracks those all get routed over into the mix bus and if you're wondering how you can tell where things are getting routed fl studio makes it very easy and shows you where this track is getting routed to with this little cord right here so you can see it's getting routed over to the master if you go to the vocal chain you can see this is routed over to the mix bus. And then for example, you have a bunch down here. And basically what this is showing you is the lead A is getting routed over to the vocal chain. We also have the signal that's coming into this mixer channel being sent over to every single one of these effect channels. And for example, you can see lead A, it's getting sent over to verb A as well. But this knob right here is at zero. So that means you're not going to hear any of the reverb as well as any of these delays. But you bring it up, you would hear more and more reverb. And that's how you control your reverb, your delays, and all of your effects on different channels. Yeah, so now we could go to the record track. And as you can see, this is getting routed over to the vocal chain, as well as every single one of your leads and every single one of your ad libs. Those are all getting routed into the vocal chain. So this means you can add effects here. So for example, say you're recording a lead and you're doing a verse, you get that first part down, but then for the next part, for the chorus maybe, you're like, oh, you know what? We're gonna go to lead B. And I kinda want this to be a little bit wider. So you can throw a fruity stereo shaper on here and just make it a little bit wider like that. And this will still get routed over into the vocal chain. So now you have a little bit more control of how you wanna do like a verse and a chorus. It just makes it a bit easier and you don't have to use a bunch of processing power. But yeah, for the most part, that is how everything works here. You could add whatever effects you want on either of the ad libs, any of the lead tracks. It's as simple as that. And then the mixer is also linked to the playlist. So as you can see, this beat is routed over to this beat channel right here. So for example, if you put an MP3 beat right here, it's going to automatically route it over to the beat. And if you record here, I'll do a little example. Set our input. Hello, hello. So we just record that in, and as you can see, it's routed to mixer track five, which is the record track. But let's say we wanna bring this down to lead B, we just move it, and as you can see, it auto routes it to mixer track seven, which is lead B. And you could bring it to any one of these tracks. Say you wanted it to be on the verb throw instead. Well, now you got verb throw A, which is mixer track number 18. You double click this, and you can see it's routed to 18. So it just makes everything super easy, super compact, super lightweight on your processor, and that's not even the best part yet. 
So let's get into the actual best part. All right, so I have this random beat that I just dragged in. This is like some kind of yeet beat. I'm just gonna use it so I can show you a quick example. But as you can see, I dragged it into the beat channel and it's routed to number three. But like I said, this is a yeet beat, so I'm gonna grab my yeet preset. So we're gonna select our vocal chain, which is where all of the processing on the vocals is gonna happen. And then I have my preset right here. And all you have to do for your main preset is just drag this right onto the vocal chain. And this is gonna be where all of your processing happens. So let's rename this back to vocal chain, just so we know what it's called. When I put the preset on there, it renamed it automatically. But on your actual vocal chain, you don't want to put auto-tune. You're just going to have it on these tracks right here. This is so you could adjust auto-tune on certain different tracks if you had to. But I have it on the record track right here, as you can see. So we're just going to enable the record track. And now I can hear myself, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. But now we're going to adjust the vocal chain a little bit, just to my liking. Let's get this compressor working a little more. And you know what? I kind of want to take some of that high end out a bit. And then I want some reverb. So I'm going to go here. Let's take this free reverb off. I'm gonna add Valhalla Vintage Verb, and I'm just gonna go to Plates. Let's go to Vocal Plate, and I'm just gonna bring this decay up a bit, and also bring this dampening up. And then let's slowly bring the reverb in by clicking our record track and dragging this knob up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then a cool part about having a reverb bus is we can add an EQ, and it's only gonna affect the reverb, so I'm gonna take out some of that low end and boost the highest, so now the reverb is gonna sound super high. Yeah, yeah. And these sends just allow you to get very, very creative. For example, let's add a one-fourth delay. So I'm going to add H delay here and then analog off. I'm going to bring the high pass up a bit. Feedback down. Let's change it to a fourth delay. We're going to put it to ping pong. This will just make it bounce around in your ears. On the delay, I want it to have like this chorus effect. So it just like sits really nice in the background. So I'm just going to add a fruity chorus, the default setting. Back to our record track. Let's slowly bring in the delay. Yeah. 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 Maybe I want some reverb on the delay as well. So let's put a fruity reverb on here. Yeah. 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 That sounds pretty cool. Bring the reverb in here. Yeah. Yeah. I just put them in a. I say yeah. 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 All right. So I'm liking how this sounds, but I kind of want some more effects on this. I'm gonna add a fruity chorus on the record track. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's try to record something. I think I had too much, yeah. I think I had way too much tonight. I think I had way too much tonight, yeah. I be one of those hands, I think I'm right. All right, so I just recorded this random little freestyle right here, and obviously we don't want this on the record track, so what I'm going to do is just drag this down. But what we have to do is go to the record track and right click this fruity chorus and click save preset as just to make sure that we have the auto tune and the chorus on here just like we did on the record track. For some reason, it didn't copy this setting, so we're going to bring it down. And then on our lead A track, which is where we brought this to, we also have to readjust the reverb. So let's go here and we can just right click, copy value, and then paste value here. Right click, copy value, paste value. So now if we play that, it should sound exactly the same as when we recorded it. I think I had too much, yeah I think I had way too much tonight I'm out of I think I'm out of here I think I had way too much tonight, yeah Pop me one of those hands, I think I'm out and there we go. It's as easy as that. All right. And then say we want some ad libs. I already know kind of how I want the ad libs to sound. So we're going to go to this ad lib track right here. I'm going to add a fruity stereo shaper. We're going to spring this up a bit. And then I'm going to put a bunch of reverb on there and a bunch of that delay. And then I'm just going to go to the record track again, enable it. And we're just going to record here. All right, so we just recorded that. Obviously, we don't want it on the record track. We'll bring it down to the ad lib that we just adjusted, and it should be perfect. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much all the explaining I feel like I have to do. Like I said, it's pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. If you guys want this, obviously it's linked down in the description below. But that's it for the video. I'm gonna play this through from the beginning, and then uh, we're just gonna leave this on a little freestyle, so I'll just freestyle for you guys right at the end here. Yeah, think I had too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I had way too much tonight. Way too much tonight. You just I think I'm a hell of a hell. Oh, yeah. I think I had way too much tonight. Yeah, pop me one of those hands. I think I'm right. Yeah, they say they am me and I just caught a flight. Yeah, you brought up, think I might just let you fight. Yeah. Buy me a partner, pop me some more. Yeah, see your
bitch ass dancing on the floor. Yeah, I might get with you, might get that roll. Yeah, I just pulled up, I think I'm out of control. Yeah, I'm in a Range Rover, way too fast. Yeah, I'm on the highway hitting that bitch ass right on the dash. Yeah, honey, right down a bit like this, like yeah. Yeah, I might tell you, bitch, you run like this for real. Yeah, this for real. This for real. Yeah, I just popped me one of them fucking things for real. Yeah, this for real. This for real. I just popped me all these drugs and I get real. Oh my god, what's she talking about? Fuck that bitch, I did it, yeah, I did it on your couch. I can do this shit three times through that is my house.